Report has it that Mr. Chukweku Onye Erobeye took his last breath after a tough battle with some Hesmen bandits who attempted kidnapping some persons in Uteromo Axis in a Karnotis local government area of Delta State. He took courageous move to defend the attack, which eventually led to the release of the kidnapped, but lost his life. Apparently, he was the chairman of the vigilante group in the community. May posterity remember your courage and fight for humanity. Rest in peace. Good evening, everyone. If you have followed my reports on insecurity in Delta State, particularly the communities around Agbo, you would understand that series of attacks has been taking place consistently since the time of 2023 ending. Let me say since five months ago, not that it has not been happening before, but since last uh, five months, they have intensified the attacks. Sometimes the villagers will catch the bandits who are kidnapping, sometimes they will burn them alive, sometimes they will kill them, and this has been going on for so many times. About two weeks ago, I showed you a video from uh, the vigilante chairman from our kingdom. It's a kingdom in a Kanotis local government area when he was reporting about 15 people being kidnapped that only one person survived that they killed including the vigilante man but that is a different story on today's story the vigilante chairman from another data community called Uteromo in a Kanotis local government area saw a scene where these uh, Fulani bandits were kidnapping people he said they kidnapped five persons this man tried to rescue um, those five persons from the Fundani Hesmen, he succeeded in rescuing those five persons, but he lost his life in this action. For me, I believe he died as a hero. I believe he did not die like a coward. Because the life of those people that they kidnapped, if not that this man came to their rescue, I think those lives would be at risk. Nobody knows if they are going to kill them because they have been killing people, especially when they call for ransom, you did not bring ransom before you know they will kill the person. This is an unfortunate incident. When you look at or when you are listening to national televisions in Nigeria or national newspapers, you would hear about insecurity from the places that the televisions could cover. But the things that are going on in these villages from around the country, this is holistic. It's not as if this thing is just happening in a particular village. From the north to the southeast to west, this thing has been happening. Time without number. But the problem is this. Up to now, the local government, the state government, the federal government, I have not seen any reasonable action that they have taken against these Fundani herdsmen. I gave you a report about some time ago how some persons are caught all these uh, Fundani herdsmen. They were caught. They took them to police station. When they got to the police station, I don't know where they said the court came, they released them. So, for me, I am convinced, very, very convinced with evidence that there are some powers who are backing these people up. Tell me, how would these people survive in the bush? They have the gun. They, have, they are giving them information. And I also believe that some persons from the community are also giving them information. This is an unfortunate incident that is going on and the government have not taken any reasonable action. If government has taken action, I will also report it that look at what the government is doing that they are trying. But as far as these insecurity issues happening in these villages are concerned, the government are not trying. Uh, no response. They recommend uh, order the TCO in Oweibu to call the, the CP in Nasaba. And until now, both the CP and the area command and Oweibu uh, division, no way. As I'm talking to you now, all those uh, flying S men that killed one of my members, being vigilante in the Oweibu community. And almost about the 15 number when they kidnapped, they killed 14, only one survived among them. So that's why we are not happy this morning. All the whole, the outside men, the flanning men, went for the awake community. Me with my men then, who say we don't want them for my community again. Everybody should work with in my community. 
and we are telling uh, Delta State government, telling Delta State government, we should intervene for inside this uh, issue. But this one is getting too much. According to that, our guy now will survive. Only the person will survive among almost about 40 people. The what is telling us say all the doctors are planning men say we are not safe in this community, a car kingdom. They are surrounded everywhere. But we are telling Delta State government to intervene. We are telling the old the old highness to intervene. We are telling the old the leader in the in the in the, in the, in the car land. Let all of them to intervene. But this is getting too much. We are not saving. We are not fighting. We, we are not farming again. Everybody now is at home. So how can we do this thing now? We are begging. We are pleading. That you have to make sure say to keep our Eka Kingdom cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You are welcome, sir. Uh, Chairman, uh, according to your statement, you said they killed up to 14 people that they kidnapped. How did you know about it that people were killed, the ones that they kidnapped? Okay, uh, the one among the 15 that when they kidnapped, the ones survived when come back yesterday. Because normally before when they record, I'm the one who calling them when we are negotiating. So end of the day now when other people, about 14 people, not respond, they are not see money to break. So that's why the other one now will survive. So that one is the one who gives them two million. So because of that two million now, the release that one is the one who come back and tell us say now kill almost about 40 people. I can see you and your men, everyone here are gallant. I can see that the job that you people have done this morning is very well welcome in our wicked community. The Lord is your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much.